new video tutorial on Xcube for 10. Today we are going to use release 3.0, that's the new release, available both in for 32-bit uh, operating system and 64-bit operating system. In this video tutorial, we will show some new features on the patterning system. So here we have a simple conical shape. Let's go into the production and we see we have already done some patterns for this code. What we are going to see right now is curve compensation tool. So first of all we can recall from the tables the curve editor. Let's see how this curve editor works. Well, the curve editor, we can see here, we have a list of curves, different curves like this, and we can create a new one. Of course, we give it a name, curve 0.3%, so we can remember it later when we want to use it. This is the name of the curve. The curve basically is a polyline layered on the X axis. Here we set the number of points we want. So we can set, for example, four points. We see here the points of the curve. We can increase the number of grid points. Let's make 20 by 20. And so here's my curve. If we zoom in, here we see the, the grid points of the curve. These points can be moved. I will freely move these points like this. So we have made this new curve. First of all, when, when we select a point, we can edit the coordinates in this toolbar here. So this is at 0 0.8. 5, we can put 0 0.9 and here I can put the Y 0 0.3 same for this other point 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 so we have edited this curve let's see what this curve means first of all this is a compensation curve the X width goes from 0 to 1. So this curve will be layered on the pattern. The X direction will become the length of the pattern or the width of the pattern. The height, the Y value, will become the, the amount of compensation in the pattern. What we see here then is zero no compensation at 10 percent the length of the curve we will have a 0 0.3 compensation the compensation will will go constant till 0 0.9 that's 90 percent of the length of the pattern and we'd still have a compensation of 0 0.3 percent and then the compensation will go down to zero percent here we can see better applying a curve compensation in the Y direction of a pattern. We can see here, for example, that at the beginning it will be zero. It goes down and it reaches 0.3% in a linear fashion. Then it's constant 0.3%. Then it goes down to zero again in a linear fashion. So basically this is a nice tool if we want to apply compensation to a pattern. Let's see another way to do it. I will add another two points. So we have six points. And we will put this first point here to zero compensation. This one here, like that.
I would move this to 0 0.9 0 and this one here 0 0.9 0 0.3 so this last curve here 0 0.1 0.3 this is a step curve what happens in this one if we apply this curve compensation to a pattern it will have a zero compensation at the beginning till 10% of the length of the pattern 0% then it will have a 3% 3% constant compensation till 90% of the length of the pattern and then goes down again to 0% so this is the curve editor we can close the curve editor and turn back to our patterns how we apply curve compensation to a pattern well this is very simple we use the select pattern tool let's select all of them And in the compensation, we see we have the usual constant compensation. And then there are two new pop-ups where we can select the curve compensation. So if I want to apply the, our new compensation curve for the weft compensation, we select curve compensation and update. The compensation here curve is visible and it's clear what happens as the compensation uh, we have a zero here it will go down to zero till this point and then 0.3 percent down here and zero again down and that's it so with this tool it's quite easily to apply any kind of constant comp compensation values to our patterns we read in the information that the compensation has been applied in the width the curve 0.3 percent and in the height a constant 0.3 percent of course we can apply also compensation for the warp we can use for example this step 0.3 update and we have a new compensation curve in this case we see that it's constant 0.3% and then it goes down to 0 for the last step of the curve. So this is the new compensation curve.